it's Anne from the Useless Crafter and today is a design space tutorial. It looks a little bit different because I want to show you um, it, on a bigger screen what the final product looks like because it's just so stinking cute. So anyway, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. But here's the deal. Um, so I did, these two look very, very similar, right? Um, they both have the same, I use the same, um, the same materials, same color, same materials. Uh, but one is baseball themed and one is turning eight. So I wanted to show you uh, first that, that like the same Pringles can um, with just a slight difference in how you decorate it can really change the actual theme. But here's the turning eight. I'm gonna just show you. Um, it has nothing on the inside. So it's just super cute, but you can hear it. So the, the key ingredient in that is the foam balls are super cheap on Amazon. You can get it on my Amazon shop, but you see, just a few of these will get you that sound, which totally changes things. Uh, this was from Michael's, it's Recollections, Specialty Glitter, um, it's the Clear Transparent. And I like this because you can't even see it. Not that it would matter if you saw it or not, but, um, it's kind of nice not to, it blends in, right? Cause it's clear, it blends in with whatever you have in there. You can't see it at all, but you can hear it. All right, so turning eight, this is on this side. <laughs> this little girl is on this side, so stinking cute. Okay, this one though, when I did this, it just, it just felt so good making this one. So I have the baseball stitching. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Unknown caller. Oh my gosh. And uh, <laughs> let me turn that down while we're here. Um, so I have the baseball st stitching. Um, also the name with this little glyph. I mean, I found the, the awesome font for it. Super easy to do and offset. The number four is kind of hard to see in here because um, of the lighting. But uh, they're also there. I forget the team name, but it's like this apple this mean looking apple it's not the same apple but this was the only one that i could find to do quickly so i wanted to put it on here but i think it's cute where it's a little bit smaller it's at the bottom it's almost like a like an afterthought but it just completes the whole thing i love i love this little thing in the back but all right so there you have it i love it uh these two are the same colors the same materials but you can see it just really transforms itself with all the little details all right, I'm gonna flip the cameras. We're gonna do the design space tutorial, so give me one second. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, okay, let me make this smaller. Okay, oh my gosh, I am so not ready today. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna move myself over here really quickly. And all right, so I wanna show you this before we get started because this is the end. I want you to, sh I, I, I will show you how to do everything, but when you see all the components, it sort of makes sense. So this right here is the body of the Pringles can, right? Um, this is the bottom, the bottom part, and then the top one's a little bit thicker because we wanna hide the glue that attaches the little dome to the Pringles can. Um, this is what's covering the cap, and then these are all the things that we added on top, okay? So, all right, so let's, move all these things around for a second. Um, I have the Pringles SVG file, so when you go to upload it, and I have a couple different versions, um, so I may not have the most, <laughs> the most updated version, but I'll show you what it looks like when it comes in. So when it comes in, it's all attached, kind of give you directions. You can just delete all of that because if you're following, then you can just listen to me. So we can get rid of all the words because we don't need that. Those are just instructions. Um, all right, so let's look at this. We have them in different colors, but of course you can just go and start changing them. Now, the nice thing about the Pringles can is that the SVG file is you can easily change the sizing of it. This is going to give you your basic Pringles can. Okay. So here's the dome. Here's the middle part, the top banner, the bottom banner. Now, depending on your paper and where you end up putting it, it, it's, you're going to need to change the size a little bit. This wraps around perfectly if you put it exactly where you're supposed to, right? So here's what I want to tell you. Um, this top banner is good. It's going to overlap a little bit. 
Um, it's gonna give you some space. This one, I would change this one, unlock it. So unlock it here and just go and change this to 9.75. Um, and I think that's what I did. Let me see if that's what I changed it to. Oh, I changed it to 10. So even go up to 10, because this is 10 and a half. Make this 10 and that will just give you more space. So let's move this to 10. This one's gonna be fine. Let me see what I did here, 9.75. And then this is 3.18. 3.18 is gonna be a little bit bigger than your dome. And that's gonna be good because we need the dome to sit on top and then we're gonna put glue around it. And then we're gonna hide it with this banner right here, okay? So that's it. I'm gonna delete this, okay? Now that we know that you can easily resize it. All right, let's look up, go into images and let's look up baseball. And that's where I found those, uh, the stitching, which I absolutely love. Let's see if I can find it again. Here it is. So here, um, if you subscribe, you uh, would get it. Here's the baseball, um, the file number. It's M285B9473. Okay, so you click on it. Oops. Um, let's cancel out of that. Let's go back to images, sorry. And it's this one, you just click on it, it's highlighted, It's um, you can tell it's highlighted because it's circled in green, and then add to canvas. Now, what I did was I had it extend a little bit over because I figured I can kind of turn it a little bit. I ended up cutting this at point, um, at 3.2 inches and it was perfect. I didn't make any, I figured I could just easily snip it off because if you um, remember on the can, and I'm gonna show you right now, you have the, the, this bottom banner that's gonna cover over it. So this is supposed to only sit inside the can, inside that middle layer. So it can extend past a little bit um, so I kept it like this because it looks like it extends past, but it actually looks really good like this. So that's going to be at 3.28 inches. So on this one, you just make this smaller to about that much. And you can see it's like this. Okay. So that's that one. Now let's go and find our font. So the font is from Creative Fabrica. So let me open that up. And I forgot what it's called, <laughs> but it is. Give me just one second. Let's go back to here. Um, the text is called The Blendies. Okay, so let me find it over here so that you can see it. There it is. So this font, I was so happy to find it, okay? They've got all these extra ones where you can, you know, with the certain letters like the L's and the T's and stuff and H's that can go up here to the little extras, but it comes with all these bottom ones. Let me see. So you can see, uh, you can do one where it's just the letter. Um, and here are all the different ones. You can have it just regular. You can have this line. You can have something that connects to it. Um, it gives you quite a few, so, and I'm gonna show you how to use that. Oh, this is the one I think everyone recognizes the most, right? All right, so you need to use this in conjunction with main type. So main type is free, Google it. So go to open up um, and Google um, main type and do the free edition. What happens is all your fonts will sit in here and all the extras that come with it is also in here. So for instance, we're in the blendies, right? And these are all the extras that I can add. Okay. The double T's is always a good one because if you if you um, do any like cursive fonts and you have two T's in a row, you know, like it's always a T and then a T and then when you put them next to each other, they overlap and it's not like a continuous cross over the T's. So these are this is why using main type makes it so much nicer because it looks the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what that looks like. So we're in design space. Let's do Keaton. So this is the blendies, right? It comes out like this. I'm gonna double click in this text box and I'm gonna start typing Keaton, okay? 
And I'm gonna move it down here. I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger so that we can kind of see better. Okay, so here is Keaton. Now, with the T, I can opt for the T to have that extra swirl. So let's go to main type. And you can see it here. Here's the T with that extra um, piece. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna highlight it, Control C, so that I can copy, okay? Then I'm gonna go back to Design Space. I'm gonna open up a text box. This text box, when I open it, it has to be the font that I'm going to put it's gonna, the two fonts have to match. So it needs to be the blendies here that I'm gonna upload a blendies character. <laughs> so now that this is highlighted, I'm gonna hit Control V, which is paste, right? And there's my T. So you can see I can just drop it in like this. So we're going to click on Keaton, ungroup it so that I can remove this T, if you want this T. But look at that, so easy, right? Now let's find the little N, you know, the little swish that goes with that. We're gonna go back to main type and we have a couple different options and I'm gonna show you those different options. We've got this one. So I'm gonna hit Control C, go back to Design Space, go to the text box and just hit Control V. Here's my first option is I can do this, right? I can add this little guy. The way it looks like I'm gonna need to kind of swirl it up a little bit kind of attach it there, maybe, something like that. It's gonna look thick, right? Let me show you the Keaton that I ended up doing. So I did a different one where it looks a little bit better, like this looks a little clunky, right? Because the end, the end of the end is going up so high. So let's go back to main type. And I'm gonna grab, I don't even remember which one I grabbed, maybe this one. <laughs> so I'm hit Control C, go into Design Space, and um, do Text, Control V. All right, here we go. I think this is the one that I used. So make this a little bit bigger, move this over, and you see how like, there, that's perfect, right? So I'm gonna grab this whole thing and I'm gonna weld it. So it's all one right now, okay? Then I wanna do an offset. And I usually like my offsets pretty thin. I've been doing 0 0.05 these days. And let me show you what 0 0.05 looks like. You need to hit the tab key so that it updates and it does the 0 0.05. I normally would love this offset. The reason why I didn't go with it was because I wanted my offset to be one piece so that the name all is together on one piece. And you see there's a gap. The K is not connected to anything. So let me change this to 0 0.10 and see if that helps. Oops, I'm gonna hit. And that changes it. You see, this is, but I don't even think I went that thick. Let's see if I can go with 0 0.075. 0 0.075 is very close. That doesn't open up right there. So I'm gonna maybe try 0 0.085. Let's see if that works. Okay, 0 0.085, my E is connected to the K, the K is also connected to this bottom part, which I want because I want it to be strong, right? Sturdy, I don't want it to be so flimsy that this is gonna rip off. So I'm gonna hit apply, and there you have it. I'm gonna get rid of these two things, okay? Um, so with Keaton, let's see, I did the offset was in red, and the name was in white, and you can see there you have it, right? I think I went kind of thick on this one. It doesn't look as thick there. Um, it's also a lot bigger, so maybe that's, I don't know. Okay, so we've got Keaton. Now, when I look at, let me pull this one. Let's bring it to the front. The way I look at this wrap is I sort of figure it's sort of, um, in thirds so because it wraps around and so this part i feel like is the center so if i'm going right in the middle of the piece i can go a little bit sideways like out to the side and you can see everything that's in front so that's about how much i figure it can be is a third so this this is what i printed or what i cut and then the only thing left is the number four. So same thing with this. 
I'm gonna go to text and I'm gonna type in number four, right? There you have it. And then I'm going to do an offset. Now the same thing um, with here with the offset is I wanted to make sure that my offset was going to be one piece so that the pound sign, the number sign, and the four will, f will stay on one so that I can um, put it inside the little dome, okay? Inside the dome, you want to be your max height. I had to trim this off. It was okay until I started adding, put the foam tape and it just got up a little bit high. So you're probably going to want to be at about 1.8, uh, I'm sorry, 1.3 maybe. So this is 1.4 inches and I trimmed off just a little bit off the white. Um, so maybe about 1.3 will be okay. Um, so with the offset, let's grab the offset, apply. So this got up to 1.37. I mean, you can make the, oops, let me undo that. You want to make sure that you grab both items and make it a little bit smaller. That will fit in the dome, okay? Um, and let's see if there's anything else. Oh, the apple. Okay, let's look at this apple. The apple is important because I changed it from what you see. Okay, so let's go into images and let's type in apple. And let's, here's my apple. Um, let's look at the image number. It's M46AAC. I've never seen this apple. I don't even know what this is from. It's so stinking cute though. All right, I'm gonna grab this and add to canvas. Now, when I look at this apple, I see that the teeth are teeny tiny and they cut off by themselves, which I didn't really, I didn't like that. So what I did was this layer right here, you see how it has the cross over the eye? It means it's not visible. So I'm gonna make it visible because I like having the offset. And then what I realized is, okay, I have a white. So if I sliced everything, then I'll be able to see the white coming, the teeth will come through from the back layer and I don't need this one, okay? So let me show you how to do that. So let's duplicate this for a second. I'm just gonna hit, uh, let's duplicate so I have it here. But this one, let's ungroup it so you can see what I'm talking about. So see how that layer, the white is sitting on top, right? There's the white teeth on top. The slits are cut open so that you can see the black coming through. So what I did was, let's get rid of this because I've already moved this out of the way. Let's use this, okay? So, oh, were you even able to see that? Because my face was in the way. Let me redo that for a second. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna duplicate this, sorry. Let me ungroup it. So here are the teeth, right? They're sitting on top, look how tall, these are so small, I, I don't even want to deal with cutting them and taking them off the mat and gluing them. So, and then here's the here's what I was talking about. There's slits open so that the black will come through, right? And the black is one big piece, so that's all nice. Um, so what I want to do is I want to slice the teeth, okay? So I'm going to take the teeth and hit the shift key, grab my apple, and slice, okay? Then I'm gonna grab the teeth, grab the black, and slice. So now what I did was I basically sliced the teeth through so that the teeth will come from this back layer, okay? Then the red's gonna sit on top, arrange, send to the top, send to the, bring to the front. <laughs> so the, um, the white's coming through from the black, right? This is gonna sit on top. The white's gonna go through the black, through the red, and come through. And that makes it easier than dealing with these, these little guys right here. So I'm gonna delete that. And then here, I'm just gonna make it smaller and so it fits you know, nicely in the back. That's it, right? So fun, so easy. Um, and so yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love to see your what you create. The, my only thing is, I don't know what other colors I could have done. It's a lot of red and white. I would have loved to add another color. I love that the apple had green, but I thought if I added green foam balls, it would be like too Christmassy. 
So it would have been cool if it was just another color, like a blue or something would be amazing. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. Please post your comments, questions, and we will get back to you. Um, but also, it might be that it needs another explanation and I could do it for another video tutorial. So uh, your comments, your feedback is always super helpful. Have a great day, bye.